everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley and today's video is very different than most of my other videos. Usually it's always my house but this time it's a different house. So we've got a ton of cleaning motivation for you guys. So come along with me and let's get motivated and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting... So before we get into the extreme part of this video, um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of an update that we did in the kitchen. We changed out some of the pipe work underneath um, the kitchen sink and we changed out the faucet. Not really a big change, so there wasn't a whole lot to film, but I did clean up some of, uh, film some of the satisfying cleanup. But um, just a little, a little update for the kitchen. The um, old faucet wasn't working as well as I would want it to, so we went ahead and replaced it and replaced some of the pipes underneath. Ready. Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you. My heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. For this video, I am actually working at my mother-in-law's house. Um, we needed to get a couple of rooms cleaned up and changed around so that she could move her sister in and uh, help take care of her because she's got some medical issues going on. So she needs a space for her and we're starting off in my dad's old room. Now my mother-in-law is an angel she has taken on so much and for the last five years before my dad passed away she took care of him uh it's what she used to do when she was younger her career was always taking care of the elderly so it was kind of a perfect fit when i needed help taking care of my dad and she took over for me and she was just a miracle worker she did such an amazing job and i cannot be more grateful for her but um this past april my dad did pass away and this is really the first time that i got into his room and just started going through everything i had gone in there before and i've gone through some stuff and you can tell it's a mess um, there was a lot going on. It was kind of overwhelming and very emotional, but um, I needed to go through all of his stuff and kind of clear it out and get rid of some stuff. So I went and made a pile of stuff that I'm keeping and uh, I started to separate that from the stuff that I intended to either donate 
take home or just store somewhere either in um, a storage shed or something like that but there was a lot of clothes um, old clothes from before he moved to her house and when I was younger and then a lot of more recent uh, new clothes so I needed to go through everything and just kind of figure out what was gonna go where and if there was anything that I was going to take home, if there was anything that uh, my mother-in-law wanted to keep, um, what we could donate. The furniture all ended up staying. Um, we did end up moving the bed to another room, which you'll see later on. But um, this was kind of one of the more difficult cleans that I've had to do because it was very emotional going through all of his stuff and seeing things that I've never seen before. Um, discovering certain things like um, I've never seen that he had my mom's glasses. Uh, those of you who are new may not know um, I lost my mom when I was nine months old. So my dad was all I've ever known. I have pictures of my mom, but I don't remember her. And so to find her glasses and some of her jewelry and some of her documents was kind of, it hit home, if you know what I mean. So there was a lot going on emotionally and physically because there was a lot to go through. Um, we had a bunch of medical supplies we had to go through. We had to get rid of his medications, uh, take it up to the local pharmacy so that they could properly dispose of it. There was just so much going on. It was very, very overwhelming, but um, I just took it a little bit at a time. There was a lot to do, but if you pace yourself and you just kind of progress, not perfection, and that's what I went for, and I, I ended up doing a pretty good job, I think. Um, I didn't keep as much as I was expecting to, especially clothes-wise. I was planning on possibly making uh, a quilt and stuff like that, which I probably will because I do have some of this stuff. But there was just so much going on. And then eventually my mother-in-law did uh, return home and she was able to get in here and help me finish it. But yeah, there was just a lot going on in this room. <laughs> I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your weight is drunk Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero-sum game that I will lose no sipping past it 
Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Or when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough, I've lost you But I need you, and you're off my radar now I've lost you I'm afraid you're out I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love you It still amazes me watching this video and just seeing everything that I went through. All of his stuff there on the bed. It is just complete chaos, honestly. And I didn't realize just how much stuff he had in one little room. So it was definitely a task. Um, I do have a quick question for you guys. Um... I do want to try to post uh, extra videos, um, post more often. I'm thinking of trying to break it up to where I have maybe a shorter video in the beginning of the week and then my long good video on my normal Saturdays. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I really think that it's going to not only help with the uh, YouTube and getting my name out there, but I think wanted to know what you guys think if you would um watch the shorter videos and also the longer videos or which ones you guys would prefer so drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think
getting all of the dusting and the cleaning done I got all of his stuff separated and put into different piles but bagged up and stuff like that so that it makes it easier to get rid of um, and then also put in my car <laughs> and take home but stripping the bed because we are going to um, put it in another room and then vacuuming the carpet now the carpet is not going to stay carpet she's planning on tearing the carpet out of this room and replacing it with um either tile or some kind of a wood laminate or something so the carpet is definitely stained and ruined and it will be coming out so put your trust in I got home after the first day at my mother-in-law's house um, I was cooking dinner and um, the dinner I decided to show you guys for a recipe is uh, cube steak and I had this cube steak marinating overnight and some Worcestershire um, a1 steak sauce and um, some garlic so when you go to season it after it is marinated you don't want to add any salt because it's already pretty salty but um i just pan seared it and got a nice beautiful golden color on each side and i had some um rice cooking in my rice cooker now a rice cooker is going to save you on so many levels because you can just kind of set it and forget it and just check on it make sure when it pops you only let it sit and steam for another 15 minutes but I definitely suggest uh, getting a rice cooker I'm gonna link mine in the description below but yeah very simple recipe um, I'm going to list my marinade and everything all of my steps in the description so if it looks good make sure to check it out in the description below
now we are on the next day. I came back over to my mother-in-law's house to get the second room ready for the bed that was coming in here. Now this room is very, very overwhelming to look at. It is full of just random things. This is definitely her catch-all room. Um, she was definitely embarrassed that I was filming it, but the progress of it and the end result, I think, is definitely worth it. It's a massive change, but um, we pretty much just had to get as much out of this room as we could and find a new home for it or either donate it. Um, she's planning on possibly selling some of the exercise equipment and stuff like that, so... We got everything out of this room um, and just got it to where we can have a good space to put the bed. If you wanted to, promise you we will be alright if it's you and I, you and I. Now, I know a lot of you are probably going to think that this room specifically is just complete chaos because it is very cluttered. But 
honestly, she's kind of like me where she likes her stuff, but she does tend to like it a little bit more. But um, Joe and I always joke with her that she has too much stuff, and we like our stuff. So coming from us, that's saying a lot. But um, she is such a giving person, and she is always there for everybody else. And she takes care of everybody else. And all the things that she did for my dad, it was the least that I could do to come over and just help her clean. Uh, she's always got so much on her plate that it's very difficult for her to find the time or the energy to clean her house. So if I can take some of that burden off of her just by going over and cleaning something for her, I'm all for it. Um, I'm really happy with the way that both of these rooms ended up coming out and the um, reaction that she had considering that it was a room that she couldn't even really go into or do anything in to a room that now when my kids go over and spend the night, my daughter and my son will each have a room of their own and one of them's not going to have to sleep out on the couch. So it was definitely the least I can do and hopefully we're going to have a lot more footage coming in the future of other rooms in her house that we're going to be tackling. Um, at the end of the video I do have some of the uh, before and after pictures of some stuff I've done recently but wasn't able to film so I just got pictures. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping to plan a time where I can get over there and film some more cleaning and get some more motivation for you guys. That way it's not always stuck at my house. <laughs> with the way that this room turned out I know it's still kind of cluttered but the fact that we can move around and it can actually be a functioning room and get some use is definitely a relief especially for my mother-in-law um, here at the end of the video is some before and afters of some other cleaning that I have done in her house and wasn't able to film it but I did get before and after pictures so I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments below um, thank you so much for all of y'all support and I can't wait to see you next week mm -hmm.